Now to a good deed that backfired terribly. Single mum Tracy thought she was helping an unemployed couple raise their young family. But she's left with a house that's been trashed beyond belief and she's facing a massive clean-up bill. Oh, my God. And I let them in to help them. Tracy does not deserve to have her house destroyed by you guys. Look at how disgusting that is. How did, how did you ever let it get like that in the first place? It doesn't matter. It does matter. It's somebody's house. Welcome to my investment property. Oh, my God. This place is disgusting. This is the property single mum of three Tracy Jones purchased. Now it's a revolting mess. The smell, you can smell it. That's why there's so many flies. They probably need to hold your nose. The smell is from a layer of rotting filth left behind by tenants Tegan Perry and Corey Gilbert. What did you think when you first walked in and saw this place? I was horrified. Probably needs a bulldozer. Tracy survived breast cancer, room. but never imagined a young here. family she was Jeez. trying to help would repay her by trashing the place and hurling horrific insults. Now, buy cancer. Oh my God, you couldn't have even used this shower. Tracy filmed this video after finally having these ratbag tenants evicted. Oh, what a smell! It captures exactly how the place was left. Empty oh, beer bottles, yeah, shovels, broken fans and yeah, stuffed toys. Oh my god, look at this room. Every room trashed. Oh, this god, one yeah. packed with it's plastic bed, bags it? full of, it wait empty. for it, mm -hmm. dirty nappies. Look at this. Oh, that stinks. Lurking around every corner, another nasty surprise. I want the toilets, right? Oh my god. The toilet could never have been cleaned. We've cleared this to be able to walk through. Just when we visited Tracy's house at Blackwall on the New South Wales Central Coast, the long clean-up had just begun. And what about the smell in here, Tracy? I mean, smell. it's just smell putrid. Is, yeah. It's not just the dirty nappies, but murky old aquariums. And then there's the knives. Kitchen knives, meat knives, everywhere. Upstairs has been cleared of its debris, enough to fill an entire skip bin. What's in that skip, Tracy? Thousands and thousands of dirty nappies. Used nappies, knives. But the holes in the walls and broken windows remain. Here's another room completely trashed. Oh, they've pulled all the chip rock off the walls. The upstairs bathroom is revolting. Filthy floors, broken taps, and spitballs on the ceiling. There's absolutely nowhere in the house for them to wash their hands because all the taps are removed. Tracy's son Doug is helping with this enormous and expensive clean-up job. And there's flies absolutely everywhere. This place stinks. He filmed his own video of the horror left behind. Human feces on the wall, looks like, smells like. Hello Tegan, Dan Nolan from A Current Affair, how are you going? When we caught up with tenant Tegan Perry, getting an explanation was hard work. Well, why, why did you leave it like that? Why were you using it as a garbage bin? The whole top floor was just full, piled of used, dirty nappies. Poor Tracy's had to clean the whole thing up. And you just left it there like an absolute, there's, like a there's, sewer. There's, there's poo on the walls, wiped all over the walls. Doug's here. I mean, Doug's been having to clean this up as well, Tegan. There's needles in there, there's knives. This 27-year-old the mother of five didn't apologise for the filth, but claims she had good intentions. So will you, are you going to clean it up for her, are you? Yep. You're not, are you? You're just lying to us. I wouldn't say that. Well, why didn't you clean it up before you moved out? Well, we tried to, but we ran out of time. You ran out of time. It would have taken five years to clean that house up. It is disgusting. Exactly why they transformed a neat and tidy four-bedder into a dirty dump remains a mystery. Did, how did you ever let it get like that in the first place? It doesn't matter. It does matter. Come it's on. somebody's house. It's somebody's house and somebody's hard-earned money. Doug's been everywhere. trying to clean up excrement off the wall and when a house gets this bad 
the risk of disease is huge. Oh my God, look at the disgusting mess. Everyday kitchen items. There's a cockroach coming out. All hiding more nasty surprises. What's in there? Oh my God. Look at how disgusting that is. The dishwasher is full of dirt and dried pasta. The microwave, even worse. Oh, oh, that is mold. oh that's full it's of mold. mold. Don't breathe that in. The aquariums that's create another health hazard. Tenant Corey sells fish online. They're breeding fish in the place, they're breeding reptiles and mice and um, mosquitoes. These tenants obviously had no idea how garbage collection even works. This wheelie bin, this was upstairs on the second floor, chock-a-block full of dirty nappies. The actual bin you meant to take your garbage out and put it on the street is this one. Well, have a look what's in that. Completely empty. Tracy had donated toys and clothes to the family when they first moved in. She even tried to help Corey get a job as a chef. And he said, I don't want a job. I get government money and I um, breed fish to sell them on Gumtree and make more money from doing that than working. After a series of complaints from neighbours and seeing images like these of the front yard, Tracy decided Tegan and Corey had to go. But charity groups begged her not to. They asked me if I'd give them another opportunity and I was prepared to do that, providing that they assisted in the clean-up and made sure that the place was clean and tidy. No clean-up ever happened. Just another three months build-up of muck before Tracy began the costly process to kick them out and recover three grand in unpaid rent. So what did this breast cancer survivor get for her trouble? Well, have a listen to Corey's voicemail the day the eviction notice was delivered. Right, you come around and ask Tegan again and intimidate her. I'm going to the police station tomorrow. They'll be coming to pay you a visit. And if you're not lucky, they'll be charging you at the same time. Now, buy cancer. That is just appalling. It's really offensive. All Back to Corey's partner, Tegan, and still no apology. He's mocking her for having breast cancer. Well, I didn't know that, did I? Well, well what, sort of, what sort of guy is he to be doing that? Who the hell would I know? Well, you're with him, aren't you? You live with him. What? Yeah, you do. You wouldn't be walking along here with a bag covering your face if you didn't, would you? <laughs> but we did get something from Tegan about what they're going to do to fix this mess. Yeah. So you and Corey are going to get in there and clean it up, are you? Yeah. You're going to get in there and clean it up? Yeah. Yeah? That's a pro is that a promise, is it? Yes. That is a promise, OK. Tracy hasn't heard from them yet and doesn't expect to. I was giving them an opportunity. And this is what you get in return? That's exactly right. Unfortunately, every time you do help people like this, this happens. That is the most disgusting house we've seen and unfortunately Tracy doesn't have landlord's insurance. If you're interested in helping with that immense clean-up, please send us an email.